The next comedian comes to us from Columbus, Ohio. Please welcome Leslie Battle. Hello, McCurdy's. I'm JJ's mom. Some people think I'm a comic. You'll figure out by the end of my set which one I actually am, I think. But no, I'm old enough to be JJ's mom. I'm 48 years old. I'll be 49 at the end of this month. Woo! Yay, black don't crack. Woo! I am a fan, okay? It's awesome. It's funny though, because I do have children that are adults now. My oldest is 26, my middle one's 22. My daughter is 18. My youngest graduated high school last year. I know, it's crazy. I mean, my people have been fighting for freedom for like two centuries. I get a taste of it, it's freaking me out. <laughs> okay. It's too much. I get to make too many decisions. It's crazy. But yeah, my oldest is getting married next month. It's exciting. What's exciting is that both of my ex-husbands and their new wives will be there. <laughs> This is the smile of a woman who is too close to retirement to get arrested over some bullshit, okay? <laughs> I am not going to be the most memorable thing about my son's wedding next month. That's not what's going to happen. But bless his heart, because I'm single, my 26-year-old son is my emergency contact. <laughs> Do you know who does not want that kind of responsibility? Any 26-year-old man, okay? <laughs> I found out that is the best way to get your adult kids on team. Find mama some dick, okay? <laughs> I mean, you know how that conversation goes? Mom, when are you going to start dating again? I mean, I kind of need somebody else to take this. <laughs> oh, he's a good kid. It's funny, though, he and his girl had a little bump in the road, and he wanted to talk to me. He calls me. He's like, Mom, I need to talk to you. I'm like, talk to me? About relationships? And he's like, well, yeah. And I'm like, dude, you've met me. <laughs> you've got two dads, and they're both straight, okay? I mean, most of my dating history has been recorded in court documents, all right? <laughs> my second ex is a German-Irish guy. I say he's the whitest white man in America. How white is he? <laughs> This dude is so white, with him, I have blue-eyed babies. No, that's real, I'm not laughing about that, am I? I was in the delivery suite like, I'm gonna need a maternity test. I can't have every trip to Walmart just to pick up some Krispy Kremes turned into an Amber Alert, okay? I'm just saying, Luke was talking about those 23 and me kids. Everybody's excited about that for Christmas. I'm like, I probably owe myself money. <laughs> just saying. But yeah, trying to do the dating thing. I'm not having too much luck with the dating thing. The thing is, all these dudes on the dating apps and their profile pictures are holding up these big old dead fish. <laughs> like everybody from Iowa is deep sea fishing all of a sudden. <laughs> And the thing is, maybe I'm a little paranoid because I watch way too much CSI, but that dude's got access to a boat. Why am I going to swipe right on that? <laughs> That's not smart. Of course, I'm horrible at flirting in person, too. One day, I was talking to a young man on the phone, and I said, uh, well, what would you do if you came home and found me on your bed? He's like, oh, guess we'd start making out. I'm like, nah, man, you better call the cops. You ain't gave me a key to your apartment yet. <laughs> Just out here living dangerous, Twan. What is going on? Another day, a young man, another young man, because young men tend to think I'm their age or something, which is cool. Drives up next to me. I'm walking. He drives up next to me and he says, uh, I saw you walking down the street. And you just look so strong. I'm like, strong. Bro, are you looking for somebody to help you build a deck right now? <laughs> I'm not sure what's happening. Yeah, my son be trying to set me up, right? He's like, hey, Mom, me and the guys are going to get some liquor. You should come hang out with us. I don't have the heart to tell him I'm on his buddy Trevor's bucket list, and we make plans for Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all calm down. 
Trevor's 32, all right? He's legal. Who am I to stand in the way of a young man's dreams anyway, you know? It takes a village, everybody. <laughs> because he likes to talk to me about the 70s and the 80s like he lived them because he's got Google. <laughs> Millennials, stop doing that stuff. It's irritating. He's like, Mom, I've been listening to all this great 80s music. You ever hear this band called Duran Duran? <laughs> Boy, he was about 15 seconds away from getting named Rio. Get the fuck out of here with that. <laughs> Simon LeBond is about 20% of how you got here, okay? <laughs> would ask you questions you don't want to answer to, son. <laughs> My daughter, bless her heart. Kids have way too much time on their hands. They get real creative in ways that we never would dream of, right? I was driving her to work one day, right? And all of a sudden, I realized that she had these beautiful freckles that I had not noticed before. My 18-year-old had these gorgeous freckles. How did I not notice them before? I am having an existential crisis about what a horrible mother that I must be that I've never noticed these freckles before. I finally saved her. Honey, have you always had those freckles? She's like, oh no, I painted those on this morning, bitch. Um, <laughs> anybody else not know that pom eyebrow pomade was a thing? Because I should be. Yeah. Wacky kid. It's funny though, my kids have to deal with my senses changing. They'll say something completely innocent and I'll hear something obscene. It's gotten to the point where they'll say something, I'll whip my head around like, what you say? And they're like, uh-uh, what you hear? <laughs> like one day, driving to the store with my daughter, and she's like, good, I want to pick up a brewed coffee. I want to get a brewed coffee. I was not understanding her correctly. I must have had her repeated three times because every time she said it, I heard boo cocky. <laughs> First of all, my angel doesn't talk that way. <laughs> and secondly, she doesn't need to know that I know what that means. <laughs> I'm Leslie Bowell. Enjoy the rest of the show. Everybody.